Hello and welcome to 12 Volt Planet TV. My name is Craig and today we will be showing you our heat shrink solder butt connectors. Heat shrink solder butt connectors provide a rapid, simple and reliable cable joint with no tools so they are ideal for emergency cable repairs or for situations where you don't have any tools or just don't want to carry them. When the connectors are heated there are three things that happen to make the joint. Firstly, the connector sleeve softens and shrinks down in diameter and grips around the cable when heat is applied. When heat is removed, the sleeve rehardens as it cools. Secondly, the connector has two adhesive rings which melt and flow around the cable when heat is applied. When heat is removed, the adhesive cools and solidifies to form a moisture proof seal around the cable entry, protecting the joint from corrosion and providing mechanical strength against pullout. The color of the adhesive ring tells you what cable size the connector suits. Thirdly, the solder ring in the center of the connector melts and flows between the strands of the cables being joined. When heat is removed, the solder cools and solidifies, making the electrical joint between the cables. The connectors can be heated using a cigarette lighter, a heat gun, a blowtorch, or anything that produces a good amount of heat. In this first video, we will be showing you how to use these connectors with our standard heat gun. Firstly, don't expose too much copper. Take only half a centimeter of insulation as this will allow the solder and power room to flow. Spread the strands of the cable out as shown in the video. Slide the cable into the connector, making sure the copper section sits underneath the solder ring. Once in place, insert the other end of the cable and push into place interlocking the cable strands together. This creates a finger locking technique which we find gives the solder the best room to flow. Once your cable is in place, simply turn your heat gun on and hold over the heat gun's blowers. Slowly turn the cable above the heat source to ensure even heating, making sure not to get close enough to the heat source to not burn the sleeve. You may need to move the sleeve across the heat source to shrink the sleeve on both ends of the connector and the glue will begin to melt and the solder will become slightly shiny as it also begins to melt. Once you're happy that the solder has coated all of your cable and the glue has flowed properly, remove the connector from the heat and wait for it to cool. Once cold, you'll have a solid connection which is environmentally sealed. The process is the same with larger cables and connectors. Simply insert your cable and gently rotate around the heat gun as the heat shrink wraps around the cable. The glue and the solder should begin to melt and again simply wait until the solder coats all of your copper and the glue flows and then remove from the heat. These connectors can also be used with a naked flame, like a candle, a lighter, or even a gas stove. You must be very careful when using a naked flame, however, as it is very easy to get the cable too close and damage it. The process is the same as with our heat gun, as you can see. If you start to see smoke, you are too close to your flame and you should remove the connector away. Once finished, you should be left with a solid solder connection as seen. These connectors are great for making a strong environmentally sealed connection and can really come in handy if you're in a bind and only have a light at hand. To find out more, visit our website and if you like this video, feel free to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.